So an outro, oh, intro, and then the opposite would be outro. Yeah, but I never heard that before. Yeah. So that's what you say? Like, is that actually a... No, I don't say it, just do it. <laughs> no, I know. Nobody says, hey, here's my intro. Welcome to another edition of Chuck Wagon Chat. I'm Chuck. And I'm Zach. And today we're going to be talking about HTX Whiskey Weekend. In Spring, Texas. Roll the tape. Taking the chuck wagon on the road to Spring, Texas and the HDX Whiskey Weekend. Let's go get some samples. We had a great afternoon at City Place in Spring, Texas, sampling some great whiskeys. Can't wait to get back and talk about them. And of course, we're going to go to the liquor store and pick up one of our favorites. <laughs> All right, let's, let's talk about that. All right, so uh, <clears throat> what we're drinking tonight is a bourbon from Texas. It's Devil's River Agave Bourbon. So it's bourbon with just a splash of agave. And we had a sample of this among many other samples, as you'll see, or that you saw. And you're gonna drink it straight? Yeah. Nice. I'm having mine as a Manhattan. It's kind of like a honey whiskey. I like the agave because it's not overly sweet. It's got a nice flavor to it. It is uh, Blue Weber Agave. So it must be different types of agave. I guess so. I've never had an agave uh, bourbon before. Well, I've never had it either. You know, I've had the honey ones, which is, you know, the agave it makes sense. It's kind of like a honey, but not. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of uh, Soldan, which is uh, a tequila. But with a little bit of bourbon, it's got that bourbon kind of sweetness to it. The Rebecca Creek whiskey was good. Yeah, still Austin or still Austin was good. Cast strength ones were good because it's it seems like they sit for sit. I don't know how this what the uh, process is, but it seemed like they sit in the barrel for like a really long time so, because they have a lot of woody, oaky flavors to them. It's whatever wood they're in. Sucking so. out that wood flavor and bringing it in, pulling it into the whiskey. Yeah, you which can I definitely think would, taste it. Would be great if you were like smoking something for a long smoke over the course of the day and just wanted to sip a good whiskey or a single malt. That uh, cast strength is, you know, I really like that flavor. One of my favorite uh, distillers was Modisette and Sons. They had the Tom Roy. Right, which is kind of a... The Tom Roy? Is that what it's called? Yeah, I don't... It was... Because it reminded me of Rob Roy. Okay. But I think it was Tom Roy. It's a smaller bottle, too. Yeah. It was but a rye, uh, right? Or... No, no, no. All their stuff was single malt. Oh. Yeah, all their stuff was single malt. Well, it was one we both agreed on that was really good because... I think probably the winner 
because we're kind of partial to single malts, and mm -hmm. I think that one was really tasty, smooth. Let's just uh, talk about the venue a little bit more. Like I said, it's a nice place. Um, yeah, at the time we left, plenty of parking. The only my only gripe, it's about ninety-five bucks a ticket, um, close to a hundred with the fees and everything. Um, you don't have to pay for parking or anything, but um, just having the one food vendor when you have about 15 uh, whiskey vendors handing out free samples, it would have been nice to have another food vendor or two. Yeah. You know, get a little more food in you. But you do get this nice glass. Oh, and you do get a nice bathroom. You are not just getting porta johns there. Those porta johns, I gotta tell you, they were fantastic. I never had one that had like an actual toilet that you sit on and a cabinet. Wooden cabinet and a mirror. They were like and a porta john. And you get this bag, which is nice. So when you go to Costco or Aldi and you have to pack your own stuff, you can put it in here. Soul taco. Yep. Yeah. And some beef tacos, which are pretty good. Now these and the chicken. Have... We had the chicken too. Yeah, they were a food truck first, right? And then they're trying to make a restaurant. Um, yeah, they're going to be opening up one soon in downtown Houston, and it was pretty good. I really liked the tortillas. They were light. Yeah. Um, like the use of the mango in the taco. Some of the ones that they have at their, she said they're known for their uh, soulful breakfast tacos, such as the Aretha Franklin is bacon, eggs, roasted potatoes, and cheese. No, that sounds pretty good. Yeah. The George Clinton uh, chorizo, egg, potato, and cheese. The James Brown. I'm seeing a trend here. Seems to be like kind of jazzy soul. Are these sci-fi character things? <laughs> I think it has something to do with soul food. Um, James Brown brisket, egg, and cheese. Ooh, brisket, egg, Ooh, and Texas cheese. is not going to want a brisket, egg, and cheese taco for breakfast. The Miss Tina, which is vegan. See, that was such disdain. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was actually a vegetarian for a long time. Um, black beans, avocado, caramelized onions, roasted sweet potatoes on corn. That sounds amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I can't wait for this place to open. I yeah. definitely want to check it out. We didn't get to try any of those. We just kind of had a very basic either chicken or beef but uh got a nice freshness to it like a citrusy yeah it reminded me a little bit of like almost a tabbouleh taste to it in a taco but also with the beef and chicken yeah Actually, look at these extra add-ons black eyed peas roasted potatoes smothered pork chops you had me at pork chops but smothered is <laughs> is fantastic um yeah i'll give some links in the description you're interested in checking them out next week on chuck wagon next week what's next week pork shoulder shredded pork pork tacos with the delicious coleslaw mm. and junk's red sauce also known as barbecue sauce thank you so anyway thanks for watching and uh hope you come back you subscribe you'll know when to come back right because i think you get a, a tweet no you get a notice yeah you the rings the bell for you ding, ding. anyway thanks for watching and we'll see you next time on chuck wagon outro <laughs> yeah i don't know